Hey guys, welcome back to another Vlogmas video. This video is all about art journaling in December. I hope you guys enjoy. First, I am setting up my area as I always do. I gathered all my crafts, all the things that I wanted to include in my journal. As always, I have sticker books and I bought a new glue as you can see there. I got my scissors, I've got papers, um, the pictures that I printed and I've got my journal. It was a cold December day and I needed to stay warm so I went ahead and made me some mocha latte as you guys are seeing here. This is actually really delicious because it's not really sweet. Um, even though it may look like it's sweet, it's actually not as sweet as I always imagine it's going to be. So that was nice and it kept me nice and warm and now it was time to get started. I also grabbed myself a big cup of water because it makes me thirsty when I drink cho hot chocolate and of course I'm lighting my candle and I am reading or listening to Christmas Shopaholic. If you guys watched the other video that I did about the books that I'm reading this year, I did buy that book in physical form even though I do all my uh, reading through audiobooks. I went ahead and bought a physical copy but it's taken me so long to read that I decided to do the audio version. Also if you don't know what art journaling is about and you're curious make sure you go back and watch my video on the three types of journaling because I talk a little bit about what art journaling is all about. What I wanted this spread to be about is everything that I experienced during December and I know December is not over yet but I was really inspired to just document my journey thus far specifically the fact that I decided to do vlogmas and I've been doing it I've been wanting to do it for so long and I went ahead and did it this year and I've had a great time doing it I've created a lot of good memories so I wanted to document that in this spread and specifically not only that I did it which is the first picture that you will see that I will um, glue on my spread but I also went ahead and documented for example the books that I'm reading and one of my favorite things that I did was I bought Hallmark Channel Countdown to Christmas book which had a lot of different recipes which I've been trying and even though I am not a chef when I am not a baker by any means I had such a good time doing this that it actually has inspired me to go forward and maybe buy a cooking book and just learn how to follow some of the recipes there and just start exploring with different kinds of food. I also decided to try something new with this spread. As you can see here, I have some uh, paper that I just ripped up. It's one of those gift papers, gift wrapping papers that you put inside bags. I can't remember what it's called at the moment, but I decided to just use that ripping method. And some of the lines are still straight and now I wish I would have gone back and ripped it up even more so there aren't any straight lines all the way around. But I really like that you know, scattered and messy look underneath each picture because I think it just adds a little bit of texture and contrast. And I don't know, I really like this method and I think I'm going to use it going forward. Now. 
The next page I did was actually one that I hadn't done before. I recently started hearing a lot of things about the numbers, you know, numerology and synchronicities with number. And I thought it was just fun to look into it. And one of the things that I learned is about the year that you're on the purpose of my year and their cycles from one through nine and it turns out that I'm in cycle number nine which means um, this is the, the quotes that I put on this page it says what we call the beginning is often the end and to make an end is to make a beginning the end is where we start from T.S. Eliot also I also a quote another quote that I wrote is as one door closes another opens but if you refuse to accept that certain doors really haven't closed you will be unable to recognize the new possibilities so I wanted to put on this quote on this page so that it would serve as a reminder of what it is that I need to do in the coming year this page I love because I grabbed one of these little cards that I had put away that I haven't used in forever and I decided to use it inside the um, journal and it just says have yourself a merry little Christmas and inside it says may you hold the magic of the season close to your heart and I thought this was perfect to put my two little grandsons pictures on here because I want them to always hold the season close to their heart. I want it to be special to them just as it is right now. And then what I also did is I pointed out that my grandson at this time is six years old and the little one, Andy, is six months old. So I put six and six on there and just to serve as a little reminder, not that we wouldn't forget, but you know, just in case. And I also, inside the card, I wrote a little note to them about you know what they mean to me during the these challenging times not only in 2020 but you know just reminding them that when I've been hurt this year and disappointed by others they have always been a light in my life and I appreciate that and appreciate them in my life and finally this last page was all dedicated about my big change that I feel coming this coming year as you guys know if you have not watched my last video um, one of my last videos on how to create a theme for 2021 I just created a theme for myself that I feel at my core that I'm inspired and motivated about and that is my year of why not and I wanted to document that here on my journal to say that this is the year this is the month when I decided to take big leaps in my life when I decided to just change the mundane to just not be afraid to have hope to step out of my comfort zone to be brave and that this in fact was a December to remember the question for this video is have you ever art journaled before leave it in the comments below as you know to be entered into the giveaway you have to like comment and be subscribed to the channel and you have to like and comment every single video that i upload through uh, vlogmas if you have not done so yet make sure you go back and watch all the videos that i've uploaded and leave a comment and then you'll be entered in the giveaway All right, you guys, and this is how it turned out. I love it. I'm so inspired by it. I hope that I entertained you. I hope that I inspired you and motivated you to create your own spread for December. If I did, make sure you leave it in the comments below. As always, I love to hear from you guys, and I will see you again in a brand new video tomorrow. Until then, stay safe.